Well, there's plenty of water out there right now. 48 hour rainfall totals. We were telling you earlier today how a lot of this was going to fill in here uh, across Missouri. That has since happened and this will continue to kind of fill up here over the next day or so. We're talking about a half an inch uh, in anywhere where you see those greens and those blues talking about uh, an inch to an inch and a half of rain uh, somewhere around Paducah over here towards Mount Vernon uh, over towards Poplar Bluff seeing the heaviest amounts of rain so far. And you can see that radar still lit up across the area. You're starting to see notice more of these bands start to develop around south here. They continue to blow up as they move towards southern Illinois. So overnight tonight expecting this rain to continue in areas where you're already seeing that heavier rain. You're talking Piedmont down towards Poplar Bluff over towards 12 mile. I mean everywhere seeing that moderate to heavy rainfall currently across that area. Carbondale much lighter rain right now. We're starting to dry out, get a little bit of that dry period before more of those bands continue over towards Mount Vernon, though still seeing uh, that heavier rainfall. Again, those lighter bands starting to show up across the uh, radar here towards Fair Dealing and Fancy Farm. Those will continue uh, to blossom as they head towards the north. So Carbondale getting that live look right now. It is rainy out there, wet certainly. So take it slowly out on the roadways. You're going to have some ponding on some of those roadways, especially the secondary roads. 60 degrees right now, so quite a warm night tonight in the dew point around 58. So certainly feels uh, like that air you can wear as you step out the door. And uh, again, temperatures area wide. We're talking low 60s and upper 50s around the area. 55 in Perryville, 60 in Carbondale, 63 in Paducah, 64 in Kenneth. So a warm night tonight and that will continue here over the overnight period. Expect the rain to continue as well, at least through the morning hours. And again, it's going to be a likely uh, moderate to even heavy rainfall at times as you wake up tomorrow morning. So tonight that widespread heavy rain continues that scattered showers start to decrease tomorrow, especially by the afternoon hours. And then we do clear things out nicely by our day on Friday uh, for a fairly nice weekend forecast uh, ahead. So 2 a.m. here we're looking at that future cast showing you again many of the same areas that are seeing that heavy rain right now continuing to see it over towards Poplar Bluff over towards Cape Girardeau and Sykeston and that will continue to pivot across southern Illinois as we head towards your morning commute hour. So we're talking some of those uh, yellows and oranges moving through as well. So this moderate to heavy rain for the morning commute could make things a little bit treacherous as you're heading out the door, especially since we're getting that rain all overnight tonight as well. So that slowly begins to pivot out of here as we get to the afternoon hours. A few isolated showers after that point, but we do start to clear things out in the evening time. And so that sets us up for a very nice weekend forecast. Again, an additional potential one to two inches of rainfall across the entire area here as we head through the overnight and into uh, the day tomorrow. And again, the wind gusts are what you're really going to start to feel tomorrow too. significantly uh, increasing here overnight. We're talking 35 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts, uh, especially as we head towards the early afternoon hours tomorrow. So that's something that's going to be a bit of a change from what we saw today. Still very dreary out there with those mostly cloudy skies. Storm track three app. Obviously good to download, especially during times like this where we get that really active radar set up. You'll be able to track that radar and uh, exactly where those showers are from where your location is located. So it's very good to have across uh, your apps or one of your selections at least. 10 day forecast showing you one more messy day here for Thursday. Talking really windy conditions and rainy conditions as well before things really start to clear out for your day on Friday we will remain breezy for Friday, but temperatures in the mid 60s with that sunshine. It's going to make it feel much nicer than the past couple of days. We also warm things up into the mid and even upper 70s as we head towards Saturday and Sunday and extending that forecast out. Looks like some storm chances next week, but we got plenty of time to track those storms. So again, uh, one more day of this kind of nasty weather and then we'll dry things out for the weekend just in time. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, definitely having a couple of days of dry time and some sunshine. That's what I'm looking forward yes. to. Yeah, I want the sun back. All right. Thanks, Nick.